Hi, and welcome to Vex Worlds. My name is Jace McKenna, and I am here with Caution Tape Robotics. We're here to talk about this very cool robot, and specifically, I wanted to talk with Brandon, I want to talk to you about the lift of the robot. Now, I'm not an engineer, so this kind of stuff fascinates me. Talk about the design of this and kind of went into the process of making this lift. All right, well, basically, when we thought about making this lift, because this year's game had so many objects and ways to maneuver them, we knew that we had to get it up high and somehow. So we thought about like different ideas, like a linear slider to, to get the goal, a conveyor to get it up. But like after looking at more different designs from different teams, we landed on a four bar lift. So what's really cool about this lift is because you have four bars here, when you move it up, the claw will stay straight up. So the it moves goal, up with it yeah. straight, yeah, exactly. So yeah. when you're lifting a goal, it's gonna be straight and no rings are gonna fall out. So, so one thing here is really cool with the manipulator that you have here. Yeah. And I'm yep. assuming this is actually the, the grab. Can like, you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, so this is our front claw. We have one single acting piston here, so it's okay. spring loaded. Yeah, I saw you had the pneumatics, so that's so yeah. cool, yeah. Basic, so when air comes into here, it's gonna lift it up. Okay. And then we can just stop the flow of air. So it's like, there's, it's spring loaded, so it's gonna spring back. Oh, excellent. So what's also cool about this claw is because this reaches here, Yeah. this is an irregular four bar. So oh, so once, this is yeah. another four bar here. Yes, oh, that's so different. cool. So yeah. this four bar keeps staying straight. This four bar will, will bend things. So nice. it's angled like this, so when we have it down, it's gonna be straight on the goal we have here. So if we look at the goal right now, yeah, it climbs down right on the wall. Excellent. It's really cool. And when we have it all the way down, this is going to lock in place, so it's going to be really hard to get it out again without very, powering Very, very. So how many different iterations did you do until you finally kind of settled well, on this design? First, we had a motorized front claw because okay. we didn't really know how to use pneumatics yet. Okay. So we took, so that was like the first few months. And Got then it. after that, we decided to like try and run with new things. So how did you learn about the pneumatics? You said you tried the motor first because yep. you didn't know about the, how did you learn about the pneumatics? So we went to, like we knew about them, we just didn't really know no, how to how use to them. how to use them, yeah. And so, but once we went to like competitions, we like noticed like these claws are super, super fast. Yeah. Compared to the motors. Yeah. And they are also really strong. Got so it. we decided like we should learn them and apply this so we can use it at Worlds and have a better chance. This is a very impressive looking robot. So good luck and thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing the design of your arm and your claw. Thank Appreciate you. it.